And now Donald Trump, well, he's catching heat from more world leaders with France's President Hollande calling his behavior toward the parents of a slain Muslim American soldier, quote, sickening. Former Bush 41 Under Secretary of Defense, uh, of Defense Jeb Babin is with us. Is no no fan of Donald Trump, but uh, you say Holland should focus on one thing right now, and that's fighting ISIS. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and defend Donald Trump, but you know, Mr. Alon wants to get into the debate. I guess he feels neglected because Mr. Putin is trying to influence our election. He wants to do his part. Look. He needs to concentrate on terrorism. You had his prime minister, Manuel Valls, said two weeks ago, give or take a day, that, well, France is just going to have to learn to live with terrorism, learn to live with murder, learn to live with terror. I think that's not what a free people would ever do. Look, these guys are, I don't know what it is with the French. We've been defending them since, what, 1917? That's 99 years. And they never forgive a favor, Charles. <laughs> well, Jed, here's the thing. Um, I went back and I looked at some of the uh, rhetorical statements from, uh, from Hollande after these major terror attacks. And going back to Paris, he started to ratchet it up a little bit. And then even more recently, of course, he's like, okay, these, these are vile people. They're monsters. We're going to crush and kill them. Uh, but it, it doesn't feel like this serious does it? It just feels like lip service and, and there's an embedded ideology there that kind of counters everything they say anyway. It's France. You know, it's what they do. They cower and hide and this is, they make bold statements like Hollande has said a lot of bold things. You said, and you repeated them uh, very accurately. You know, he has said we're going to crush ISIS. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Well, where's the beef? Where are the th attacks? They've made some small attacks from their Air Force and from their Navy, and that's really not all, it's all they've been doing. You know, we have not seen from either President Obama or from Mr. Alon some any real concerted attack on ISIS. If they were serious about this, which perforce they are not, they would be moving heaven and earth to crush ISIS and prevent them from conducting more attacks in France. They're not doing it. And of course, his approval rating is, uh, is abysmal. I think it's like down to maybe 10, 15 percent. Before I let you go, the notion of foreign uh, leaders opining on other leaders, particularly during elections, is that com should that be completely off limits? Of course, we remember President Obama uh, trying to influence the British exit vote, which backfired miserably on him. Well, I don't think it's off limits. I think politics is politics. It's a full contact sport. Everybody is going to have a voice in everything, even people overseas. Whether it's a legitimate voice or not, it's for our voters to decide. You know, the real point is they can't cross the line and try to do things like donate money to candidates. That's illegal. Beyond that, hey, it's, uh, it's still partly a free world. Everybody can say what they feel. All right, Jed Babin, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Charles.